I want uh, to apologize for my weak English and I cannot begin but by thanking God for what we already heard this morning from Dr. Miravalli and from Master Adeli. I can say people who knows what is happening. Because if we do not know in what battle we are, we will never be at the level required for this battle. So, I think that also the importance of the consecration of Lebanon to the Immaculate Heart of Mary cannot be well understood if first we do not uh, go profoundly in what is happening in the world as Mother Adele has helped us to, to do. So I wanted to initiate with uh, words of Saint John Paul II, but Mother Adele stole them <laughs> when he says that we are in the final decisive battle between good and evil, between gospel and everything that is against gospel. So I will take another story from John Paul II, and I think it will put us uh, in the atmosphere we should be in to, to try, to try to, uh, to enter in the plans of Our Lady. This story is uh, written in a book in Italian about the life of John Paul II, but it is made out of uh, narrations from persons who knew Pope John Paul II. And this narration is from a uh, bishop who lived in Vatican and worked with Pope John Paul II. He says that what night, one night he rose up, feeling the urge to run to the room of John Paul II, as if he was in great danger. And he did so. He arrived, he saw that the door was a little open and there was light. So the Pope is not sleeping. He did not know what to do. But for the feeling that took, them, took him there, he permitted himself to put his eye in the opening of the door and look in. And what did he see? He saw the Pope on, on the floor, with the hands uh, in cross, all on the floor, huh? not kneeling, praying with his front on the pavement. And he saw that the light was not electricity. It came from supernatural source that he could not see. Still, he had this feeling that there is something uh, dangerous. So he remained for half an hour, an hour, more. At the end, he knew, he understood that uh, he was b brought here to see what he saw. 
In the morning, at breakfast, he wanted, in a way or another, to, to know, to speak about this with the Holy Father, but he did not know what to do. At the end, he told him, Holy Father, you are uh, not anymore as you were 10 or 15 years ago. Your salute, your uh, state, physical state is not the same. And you have a long uh, voyage, a long trip to do. Are you resting in these nights? And he was very much surprised from the response of the Holy Father, who looked at him very seriously, and the bishop or the monsignor says, from what he, he told me, I knew that in some way he has known that I have seen him, because the Holy Father, looking at him very seriously, said to him, Monsignor, if you knew what I know, you will spend your nights as I spend them. So, what did the Holy Father know? What Mother Adele has said, that we are in the uh, final decisive battle. So, with this vision, I want to, to enter and speak a little, thanking God a lot for Father Elias, who gave this uh, possibility because I think that the consecration of Lebanon uh, to the Immaculate Heart of Mary is one in the chain of the important things that Our Lady is making uh, for the preparation of her triumph for this battle. I want to say that when Pope John Paul II, and please, I hope not to be taken for patriotism, because our patria, our nation, now is the Immaculate Heart of Mary. There is no Lebanon, no Italy, no United States. All the world is in the Immaculate Heart of Mary, and we all should serve this heart. Pope John Paul II, when he was elected, in the first speech of election, he nominated two nations, Poland, his nation, and Lebanon. When he came to Lebanon, he said, Lebanon is not only a nation, it is a mission. Uh, a message, a message more than a mission. Lots of persons interpreted this message in the way of how we live together <coughs> with, with Islam. Trakama, in peace. But this is not the message. The message begins with what I read yesterday about Pope Pius XII, Pius XII, 12, 12, who wrote to Lebanon in 1954, 100 years of the proclamation of the dogma of the Immaculate Conception, thanking Lebanese people 
because what they did to honor in this year, this Marian year. So uh, these are the words of the Pope was more beautiful than elsewhere. So he thanked the Lebanese people and he quoted, as I read yesterday, verses from uh, Cantic of Cantage, come from Lebanon, me as spouse, come from Lebanon. And another uh, verse. And he says that the Holy Scripture and the Church has put these verses on the mouth of Our Lady. So there is a, a feeling, a tie between Our Lady and Lebanon that should have a very big meaning. And he said, you Lebanese people should preserve very strongly, con much zeal, this uh, privilege that you have. And I see that you are doing this well. In that year, 1954, was made the statue of Our Lady of Lebanon for the 100 cent, uh, years of uh, dogma of immaculation and turned around in all Lebanon and was put in the sanctuary of Our Lady of Lebanon. In that year, 1954, the patriarch with the bishops consecrated Lebanon to Mary, not to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. In 13, uh, 16 June 2013, Lebanon was consecrated to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. I, I think I should stop to say how it was consecrated, because it is important. Because, as also said Mother Adele, we should put ourselves up and work. This is not time for mediocrity. There has been made many novenas of prayer for the consecration of Lebanon. Novenas of Our Lady of Pompeii, 27 days, more than 10, 15, 20 novenas for 27 days each. There have been made lots of nights of adoration. Nights, not hours. Nights of adoration, which begins in the evening and finishes in the morning. And uh, I cannot forget mothers, mothers who came to these nights of adoration and their children sleeping on the bank on their knees. I say this because I am fully uh, convinced that this has had a big part in arriving to the consecration of Lebanon, to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. This consecration was made, maybe I am wrong, but, but what I know, but what I read, only Portugal has made the consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary in the way Lebanon did it. What does that mean? In a very solemn mass with the highest authority, spiritual and civil authority, and with thousands and thousands of 
people. This was made in 19, I think, 39 in Portugal, and Sister Lucy received an apparition or a message from Our Lady afterwards saying that for this reason, for this big uh, consecration that was made in the same way we made it, with highest authority, civil and, uh, and spiritual, and with thousands and thousands of, uh, of predicants. For this reason, Our Lady said, Portugal will have three graces. It will be preserved from Second World War. There will not, not be a civil war. And in these days, civil war in Spain was beginning. And it will conserve the right face. I am convinced that the three promises, Lebanon also will have them. And I remember that when this happened, lots of Marian personalities in the world, one of whom is Father Stefano Manelli, il fondatore di, dei Frati dell'Immacolata, considered that a miracle, a great triumph for Our Lady, a light which has been lightened in a world full of darkness. And this happened after 96 years of the apparition of Fatima. In times that you know very difficult. I have had the honor to be in the protagonists of those who uh, helped to arrive and to live this event. An event which only uh, every year we renew. Every year we renew. I think that in the, in the battle between the dragon with seven heads and Our Lady, where we are seeing that the dragon with seven heads is moving very fa fastly and uh, obscurity is uh, almost everywhere, a triumph like this should have a big meaning. I don't pretend to know the meaning, but I think that something will come from Lebanon, something very important in this battle. This is what also Father Stefano Gobbi del Movimento Sacerdotale Mariano said when he came to Lebanon. And he said that there is another verse in the Holy Scripture which says that in a moment, very quickly, Lebanon will become a, uh, a big garden, a big garden full of fruits. I know one thing. I know that Lebanon is Marian, totally Marian. We have uh, capito, understood. We have understood and we have experienced that only Mary can save us. Only Mary can say, repeat, 
only Mary can save us. And I think this is the message John Paul II prophesied that will come from Lebanon. Not living in peace tra Christian and Muslim. It could be a good thing, but this is not the message. Our patriarch, which is a cardinal, who is a cardinal in Catholic Church, Patriarch Rai, every occasion he repeats that if Lebanon is still uh, is still on his feet, it is because of the consecration we made to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. I took a little time, but I think not, not every day we, we will have this occasion. I think that little particular are very important. You know that five years ago or six years ago, ISIS was exploding everywhere, especially in Syria, and wanted to, to enter in Lebanon. What did not make her enter? It, it is not Lebanese forces. <laughs> they say it, the generals say it. It is something which came from above. It is something that military um, studies do not, do not, do not, uh, can't explain. The militaries who were on the front explain. And someone said that taking a photo of the bombarding that they were, a figure of Our Lady was in that photo. And that figure and that photo went in all Lebanon and gave strength to a lot. And I remember that ISIS, when, when couldn't enter to Lebanon, began to send explosive men. Two, three explosions, all Lebanon had feared for a massive explosion set. I have to say, not to say that we are brave, but to say that prayer is brave. We made a night of adoration all night, asking God not to permit those explosives in Lebanon. We finished at six o'clock. At eight and a half, there was a news on radios that two explosive cars which entered from Syria to Lebanon were captured. And capturing the persons in the car, the intelligence service of Lebanon could uh, go back to all the chain who were preparing this. And from that moment to today, no explosive. So, Our Lady uh, Abisonio, uh, needs needs from us total donation, consecration to her Immaculate Heart, uh, courage to confront and say things as should be said, because we had to confront in Lebanon. Modern theologists non mancano, uh, are in Lebanon, and they preach not to exaggerate for Mary. I remember 
that big plans were made to destroy Christianity in Lebanon, politically, with battles all failed by the intervention of Mary, and sometimes it was a real intervention, like in Lepanto, in battles. When they failed, you know what evil is trying to do? Is trying to diminish, diminish, yes, our love to Mary. With a lot of theologists who says Jesus, 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 no Mary, no exaggerate for Mary. I remember that that was the only time I permitted myself to go on TV and radio uh, subito, huh? quickly, because I said. This, these speeches, these modern theology speeches, which wants to steal from us our love to Our Lady, are more dangerous than Masonic plans, than battles, than bombs, than politics, than everything. This is the real danger. And I finish reading some of what our patriarch has said, and I want to repeat for he who was not yesterday, only two lines of what the venerable patriarch who consecrated Lebanon uh, in 19, uh, in 1904, also there. 50 years of Our Lady of the Dogma of Immaculate. Consecration of the Lebanon to the, uh, to the heart of, uh, sacred heart of Jesus and the uh, beginning of the construction of Our Lady of Lebanon. He says, Mary, do not permit, he prays Our Lady, do not permit that our dear Lebanon loses the source of its power and beauty, which is his sincere love for you. This is what he prayed for. Just as in times of battle, the soldiers transmit the passwords in order not to fall in a trap, let us transmit to each other our password of hope, which is the Virgin Mary. These should be not sentimental words. These should be, because they are truth, part of the truth of God. She is the commander of this battle. This is written in chapter 12 of uh, Apocalypse. The actual cardinal, and I finish with this, Patriarch Rai, who consecrated Lebanon, said these words in the consecration. Hope fills our souls because we came to consecrate Lebanon to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, absolutely certain that only, only Mary can, with the power of God and the potential of her merits, save Lebanon from all dangers. And we have no doubt that Mary, Queen of Lebanon, is the one that lifted our nation from the danger of disappearing, of collapsing, especially during the last war, 1975-1991. And he said, because that uh, consecration was the 16th of June 2013. He said, 16th of June 2013 is a historical, decisive day in Lebanon. In this day, the victory, the uh, Masira, the 
has begun the salvation of Lebanon with Mary. These were his words. And as we began with a story of the importance of prayer from John Paul II, I want to finish with this because it is prayer. But not only prayer, mortification, mortification. Our Lady of Fatima did not ask only prayer. Prayer and mortification. Mortification is abundant. This is why we have no more force. Patriarch Shai said this in the consecration. The power that moves us ahead in Lebanon together with Mary our mother comes from her rosary which is the weapon she gave us to use against our enemies. Carry and pray every day the Holy Rosary of the Virgin Mary for it is more powerful than arms, more potential than money, more effective than the highest earthly authority. It is the source of heavenly graces on earth for all human necessities. Sia lodato Gesù Cristo. Thank you.